discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It Joe is was... the wrap up, and Larry is going nuts because Happy is on the thing. What's going on on Happy? I don't what know. Are you... Big Show is sitting butt ass naked on a prison toilet. <laughs> okay. That's what was going on. With Wait, that. Speaking of t- prison toilets, how is your business going downstairs? No, it's going good. Business good. is good. Good. It has hey, nothing I, to do with prison. Though. Shit, I forgot to turn on your camera. But in the meantime, right. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on. on the Twitter. And with us is Mad Mike. And my, Mike's going to vamp for a moment while I turn on uh, Larry's uh, Larry's camera here. All right. So, um, so Raw certainly was an interesting show tonight. Um, I know I know we're going to get into it. But what I would have... No, I'll, I'll wait till Sword gets back. I'm just stalling for time, He's literally. Back. He's back. Hey, sorry about yeah. that. I, it's okay. I wanted to say a few things. And I'm like, no way. I want to get Sword's reaction. Listen, to things him. are just. So I'm sorry. Dis- well, things are discombobulated tonight because we had to rearrange because we had Girl I, Scouts in here. Don't worry, they brought cookies uh, for another podcast. Were they made from real Girl Scouts? Um, they were. They have been eaten. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Wait, right. wait. The Girl Scouts or the cookies? The, the cookies. cookies. Mike, the cookies. Mike. What, what kind of or, what kind of organization are you running there? I don't know. You have the Monroeville Zombies. I don't know what goes on. What? Oh, okay. Anyways, true. we first we try to start this off with what is your favorite thing from wrestling from this past week weekend? Uh, myself, uh, I got to I got to do a show with Teddy Long and D'Lo Brown. Which was cool. So, so it was a tag team match. No, there was actually, strangely, there was only one tag team match, and uh, there was one tag team match, and uh, and and uh, it was a handicap match. Did anyone go one on one with the Undertaker? No, but I believe Wheels threatened, or I believe Teddy Long threatened Wheels with that uh, line. I okay. I, I did. I would love to see that. So, so I, w- I would. So, pay, I would pay to see that. Match. It's it's before the Can show. Can I book that for Mayhem Mania? It's before the show, and Teddy Long came out of the curtain, and he's he's going over and talking to to Wheels. I did not. Get, I didn't get a chance to to talk to Teddy Long, uh, uh, unfortunately. Uh, just just with everything going on, but uh, he goes over and talks to Wheels, like presumably about his music and everything, right? And uh, and then I'm on the other side of the curtain, like getting the TV for backstage, so I can see what's going on. And uh, and and all of a sudden, I hear through. I I hear him just start spouting off, going one on one with the Undertaker, <laughs> and I just lose my shit on the other side of the the curtain. So I got to hear him say it. Uh, and of course, he did have a bit of a dance uh, moment. He came out uh, because he wanted to see if uh, the Rev Ron Hunt's mom could twerk. And then an awkward mm-hmm. moment happened because I think Rev like twerked his mom. He did twerk his mom. Yeah, yeah. She that's did. um. Oh, that, oh, okay. Yep. Um, I would. And hey, would, Reverends have been accused for a lot worse. I think that's pretty tame. I mean, I th- th- and and in response, I think she said it's because they're a Catholic family or something like legit. I think that's what she said. Uh, Sorry, as a Catholic, I get it. Uh, yeah, okay, all right. All right, I just don't remember that at my Catholic family parties. Fine, Sorg, it was consensual. I mean, it was consensual. <laughs> it was in front of 300 <laughs> people, so there's that. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> Larry, uh, anything on the internet or anything you you caught out there uh, wrestling-wise uh, that, that, that's your favorite, with your your high point of the weekend? I saw Fighting With My Family. That was entertaining. You did? We saw that so yesterday. did I. Yeah. You did, too. Let's talk about more. We'll, we'll talk about, I think, at length tomorrow on the show because i'm sure okay. a few people have seen it but but generally it was a uh, pretty good right yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, I have a i have a very interesting perspective and story on it that i'll get into tomorrow night all right all right uh, larry and, what did you yeah. learn from that movie <laughs> you aren't ready for this one hmm. um <laughs> No, I wasn't ready for that one. Okay. Oh no, I I learned that the oh. Page's brother legit did teach a blind guy to wrestle. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that I want that, that movie. That's true. That's yeah. amazing. That's that's my move tomorrow night. Mayhem Mania. Spoiler alert. Is the, is the blind guy from Yes. The movie? Yes. Okay, you can have it. I'll come up with something else. Matt Carlin's we need a versus RoboCop. Versus RoboCop. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Mike, what do you what what anything uh awesome for you this week? Um, fighting with my family. 
and there and the and the subsequent um a uh, brief history lesson that I gave to my girlfriend about women's professional wrestling. Wait a minute. Oh, dear. Really? I kind of wish you recorded that now. I kind of wish I did too, but it was when we were waking up the next day and, you know, it wasn't, it, <laughs> it, it was, it was for us. It was for Good us. Good morning, so. honey. I want to serenade you with the <laughs> brief history of women's professional <laughs> wrestling. Well, no, no, no. Cause, uh, cause she had a lot of questions. Yes. <laughs> which, which was natural. And she's like, "Why is Paige so different?" So, all right. So basically, here's how, here's how it happened. <laughs> I went to bed. Um, I went to bed that night, and I was in a rest a wrestle kind of mood. So I put on ECW One Night Stand. Okay, just a, just something to fall asleep to. Yeah. Got that, about wait. Got about hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what you fall asleep to. ECW Dude. One Night Stand. Yeah. I okay. mean, I, I doze off the violence no, all the time. I was just going to say, Styles. you know, um, sometimes you just like put on the 92 Rumble and doze off. Just like this. Any, so, I, any Monday Night Raw Stork. 2018 would have worked. Mm. Stork all the time. 92 Rumble. Oh, my God. I it's, try and I try and predict what the last entrant I'm going to hear is. Sometimes I make ooh. it all the way to Rod- Sometimes I make it all the way at Roddy Piper before I fall asleep. It's all about comfort, right? It, it's I putting guess, on something right. that, like, you, you, you've you watched a hundred times. Yep. And, like, you know, what would that be? The trans- original Transformers movie or Ninja Turtles or Big Hero 6 exactly. or, 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 or Ghostbusters 1 or 2. Not that new one, the ladies. All due respect, it was a fun movie, but not my Ghostbusters. It's okay. Yes. Um, but it's but, somebody's um, Ghostbusters. But, but, so anyway, uh, the, the impromptu wrestling history lesson was very impromptu because I put on one night stand and uh, when I woke up in the morning, the network was still playing as it's wont to do. Um, she came in to wake me up and on the screen was a mud wrestling match between Candice Michelle and Melina. Mm. So she's like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, oh, this is a this is a teaching moment. So I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, so you were asking why Paige was so different before women like Paige started in WWE. This was women's wrestling. She's like, this is terrible. I'm like, yeah, I know, but 16 year old me thought it was kind of hot. She didn't see Mae Young <laughs> in the hand, at least. Yeah. Oh, oh no 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 no. Oh, no, she you... hasn't. No, she hasn't. So, okay. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> I totally forgot about this. I meant to mention it on the show last week as what I learned. I totally forgot about it. So, after Elimination Chamber, we were, like, cleaning up and everything, and the Mark Henry documentary was playing. And she came back in. <laughs> She's like, "Hun." Why is this old woman giving birth to a hand? Jeez. Good shit. Good shit. I said, babe, the 90s were real weird. And then, and then I showed her Mae Young's hand all grown up at Raw 1000. <laughs> Closing the loop. She got to, yeah. she got to experience in like 10 minutes what, what, what it took us like 15 years. Uh huh. And then after, so after the mud wrestling match, I also showed her what uh, the real segment between AJ and Paige from the Raw after Mania. Hmm. Wait, it wasn't Paige because... and uh, Zelina Vega? <laughs> Larry, we're going to get into that a lot more tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... oh, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got a story. Okay. I got a story. Oh damn! I had something there. I had something there. What's going but on? Yeah, so I, so I showed her that, and then um, like because they, they have the WWE Women's Collection, the Women's Revolution. So I explained all about the the tweet. I showed her the the uh, Paige and Emma tag team match against the Bellas, mm-hmm. and she's like, "That's fucking it." I'm like, "Yeah, that's how it all started." And oh, then, oh, it, you saw the match? Yeah, it's it's on the collection. Mm. It's on the collection. It's a clip of two and a half minutes. Jeez. It's a clip that's two and a half minutes long. And I told her, like, yeah, then uh, the former Divas champion tweeted, hashtag give Divas a chance. And uh, Vince McMahon responded, like, we hear you. And, you know, eventually we got there. And then I showed her Bailey versus Sasha at TakeOver. Um, Alex Carr says his wrestling team was looking at Sorg's post from RWA this weekend. I presume the Teddy Long dancing 
moment. Uh, also, kudos to Lola on doing, uh, uh, getting to do commentary for the first time. There you go. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I got to get. I, well, I saw the edit IWC from last weekend, uh, so I'm hoping to get those done before we do five wrestling shows in four days coming up this week. Cheaper, Sorg. Yeah. Then I have to edit all of that and go to Jeepers. Texas. And go yeah. to Texas. And go to Texas. There's no way I'm getting all that done before I go to Texas. So <laughs> Well, it's a long flight. <laughs> I don't have I don't have a laptop with a screen that I can edit video on. Yes. You might want to look into that. Well, I some I need to find two thousand uh, dollars to do that. Uh anyways. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this and this is <laughs> damn it. Alex, hold this for tomorrow. Please hold this for tomorrow. I, there's, there's good oh, stuff yeah, about no, the page movie. No, um, and Alex, that's exactly what I'm going to talk about because I recently watched the whole thing. The original? <laughs> oh, uh-huh. really? That's in? Okay, no, we're, we're going off for that. Yep. So, I, yeah, wrestling, yeah. wrestling, wrestling, birthday Let's party, birthday party. Ending. The okay hour and a half in the beginning and the okay last 10 minutes and the rest was holy crap that was bad um okay okay we'll, we'll go with that but um so uh, for, first before we start raw I'm very happy for Roman good yeah I'm very happy for Roman I may have known about this a few weeks ago <laughs> damn it may it's may, all the dirt may or may not he may he might might have supposed to been able supposed to be wrestling at elimination chamber there were match graphics <laughs> oh <laughs> oh should we yeah. be doing this on the show that's fine that's fine we'll fine. find out <laughs> i didn't say how i found this out oh no hypothetically uh, who would who else would have been on those graphics um uh jen carlins would have been very happy I think. Oh jeez. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I think we just skipped that whole step. All right. Okay. Uh Tina's saying uh, her her wrestling good is Junior had questions about <laughs> Joey Ryan. <laughs> about Joey Ryan after seeing him live. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Tina. Oh Tina just man. Oh. How old is he? Oh <laughs> Tina. I don't know, but I think watching Joey Ryan in, in the ring just aged him up. Pretty yeah, pretty much puts you through puberty. <laughs> yeah, he, he just got he just got smartened up for life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's I don't hope know. he doesn't start doing those moves at school. I don't know if you leave him alone on the internet, but um, uh but I think tell, I think it's him, just all happened in the ring. Tell him those things really can't repel chainsaws and lightsabers. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's a gimmick. That's that can ruin that's your gimmick. For life. Do not try us at home. Trainers, EMTs, referees down. <laughs> how, do you, how do you learn to fight off a chainsaw? There, are, there are two things that are detrimental to the development of our uh, teenage youth these days: uh, 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 uporn dot com and Joey Ryan. So, True. those two aren't unrelated. No, they're, actually, they're not. What? What, actually, he's, he's sponsored by them, so that, that actually does fit. I yeah. didn't even think no, about that. No, he actually has a, he, one of his finishers <laughs> called the U-Porn Plex. He'll be 11 in May. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, now every day your young man turns 11 now, is it? <laughs> Joey Ryan is a teachable moment. <laughs> he really is. Oh, boy. You know, that should be his shirt. <laughs> that should be his shirt. I am a teachable moment. At least you don't have Stan Styles. That's like having kids come with shake rates um, and feeding them uh, uh, whipped cream while the, like, again, 11, 12 year old boys are making interesting gestures. What's that? That is a bit unnerving, yeah. It it is weird. I mean, uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, where just, you know, the fringe of, of responsible things happen. So. Anyways, is that <laughs> did she post that? Yeah, she texted me that. So <laughs> apparently, with Katie, Ric Flair Katie, saying, can we his... can we mention that on the air? I yeah, guess I she's care. asking yeah, about posting it. Katie it. is asking me uh, is he doesn't is, remember it? Is Ric Flair's birthday uh, the proper time to uh, humble brag post um, the, my picture with him where he's grabbing my ass? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> to be there fair. It is. Oh wait, there anyone... it is. There's Dutter, There's Dutter's little know, Ric Flair. In in Rick's defense, he may have underestimated how tall she was, 
and thought he was wrapping his arm around her waist. No. No. Ah, no. no. I was trying to give the benefit no. of the doubt. No. No. In his defense, no. If you're going to give him the benefit of the doubt, say in his defense, he was using the wrong hand because he had double vision. Because he was drunk. Yeah, but oh, he he's drunk? also... Okay, no which, which means... Of course he was drunk. This which, was five years ago, and he's beat red. Which means... Which means... That doesn't mean anything. He could have just worked a one-hour Broadway with Steamboat. He's just Ric Flair. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did that Broadway drunk. Like, I've seen him, like, I thought he was going to say something very lewd about, um, because they always they always send the girl to go get him at the airport, right? Of course. A- and uh, the one time it was Vicky Gambino, the other time it was Britt Baker. And uh, <laughs> something. so, uh, yeah. I don't think Britt was probably wrestling yet. I think she was just a... a, a interviewer or something at the time so anyways also teen is a big fan of djz no her son is son is a big fan um bah, 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 bah. thank you yeah i meant to cue that yes yeah uh all right so but yeah so i'm very happy for roman very happy for roman um, absolutely I, I mean, that's I, amazing. I, i'm scared with what they're going to do with this because it already has started off very troubling <laughs> I'm okay with a Roman versus Ambrose match. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. I think we just bypass that completely. Anymore? No, I, I think I think it's going to be Roman, Seth, and Dean versus the trio that can't get over at Fastlane. Well, it's, it's, at Fastlane, it's, that makes it's sense. It's a quartet now. No, uh, no. no. Uh, uh, they're going to switch that for Mania. Because Seth already has a match for Mania. It's going to be Roman... Dean and Braun versus Drew Ooh. Lashley and uh, fuck McIntyre. It's kind of a throwaway get everybody on the card match at that point. Huh? Yeah, you honestly, mean, because there's nothing else for them to do. Yeah. Unless the only thing I see is if they have the shield match at Fastlane for them to get one last victory, then Dean attacks Roman, setting up WrestleMania. Because of all the things he said, and, and it brings it back around. So Yeah. It makes sense. And, and and Roman could actually retire Dean. Mm-hmm. Like loser leaves town. Like like Dean could be like, We're better off without you here. Like I don't know why he turned into Aunt, uh Rollins just then, but <laughs> but like you could do a loser leaves town match at WrestleMania mm-hmm. and Roman Superman punches Dean to AEW. <laughs> <laughs> he punches them all the way to elitism. Uh <laughs> All the way to yeah. Jacksonville. All the way to Jacksonville. <laughs> uh, I, I'd be interested to see what oh, they do down there. Oh, what? what? Double or nothing is in Vegas. Yes. Ambrose lives in Vegas. Yes. Yeah, he does. Yeah. That's pretty much what I was saying. Yeah. yeah. Mike's right. All together. All yeah, because he doesn't have to wrestle. He can just show up. Yep. Hey, and I wonder, we, will you have a non-compete? Why would he have a non-compete? His contract's expiring. That is true, too. It's, yeah, it's his contract. It's, it's not. Usually, unless they're going to fire him before his contract's up. It's usually when you leave the... And I don't think they do the non-competes anymore. Yeah, they, they do. They do, do three, they? three month non-competes. Is it three months? Three so, like, months. TJP yeah. and Ty Dillinger yeah. are going, doing no competes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope they're, like, paying them for the three months. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, they get paid for three months. Okay, good. Because, like, throw, like having them go and then, like, they can't do anything for three months kind of sucks. So, it's like their severance. Well, yeah. to be fair, D- TJP wasn't doing a whole lot anyway. Uh, at least he had good vibes going out. He clarified some things I, I, I saw on the uh, Twitters today. Uh, he he didn't still doesn't shit. have good vibes. <laughs> no, he, he was like, oh, I don't want to see women reign the event WrestleMania. Like, well, you weren't going to be on the show anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, and Tina's. Old a- Eddie Joystick. <laughs> Tina's talking about uh, just wanting to see how they were going to try to piss off Disney now, now with the last 10 minutes of Raw. Uh, yeah, I guess Batista doesn't have a movie to do for Disney anymore. Uh, so, Oh, no. See, no. See, this is perfect cross-promotion. Okay. Um, Because his name is Drax the Destroyer. Okay. What did he do to the mood? He destroyed it. That's a stretch. And and the re- he was there on Raw the whole time. We just didn't see him because he was standing perfectly still. Yeah, I guess so. Or he was. That's, in the that's, a, that's a callback. That's a callback to mm-hmm. to those of you who've seen Infinity War. But um, guys, 
Sorry. Oh, you gotta I bring did, it out. I did bring him back. You brought him back. You snapped, yeah, it. I brought you him, snapped back. him back. Well, he, he was dusted. He was dusted. He was dusted. Not dusty. It was now you know what? It was a dusty finish. But him Oh. 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 Jeez. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's too Mwah. soon. Good night, everybody. Good. I'll be here all week. Uh, that was good. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Brandon, I don't think this had anything to do with Bruce Pritchard. <laughs> I like- no, but it was the first night with Bruce Pritchard back. I mean, Pritchard isn't like exactly the end. It's also the first night with like half of What the hell TNA. does he do? What does he do? Yeah, what's he, he doing does there? nothing. <laughs> does nothing. Well, you, you can say that about their whole writing staff. Can you but what tell? Is he, what's it, well, like, what is he like, supposed to do? He collects a check so he can't get paid by Cody. It's just they're just collecting TNA stars, and they really are. They don't care. They're like pop figures. That's right. Yeah. And honestly, the only reason the first hour and a half of so of Raw was good was because it had a feel good moment with Roman, and then it was NXT. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. How, how are you feeling about the uh, uh, week two of NXT inclusion here? <sighs> Fine, but I I'm I'm scared mm-hmm. because. I feel like the most WWE thing they can do, and this is not a prediction. Well, it is kind of a prediction, even though I don't think it's going to happen. What if Gargano and Ciampa are fighting for the NXT title one night, then literally two nights later, they're going after the revival for the Raw Tag Team Championships? (laughs) Because I could absolutely see that. that. That could be fun. If we're intertwining a little bit. I don't think it's intertwining. I think it's Vince not realizing they have another job. Exa- no, but it's it, they're not carrying over any stories. Nope. Mm-hmm. And that bothers me. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tina just dropped a bombshell in the chat room. What did she say? Cesaro versus Gargano tomorrow night. Yes and please. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Does that mean we're also getting Trampa versus Sheamus? Because oh. also, yes and please. I think uh, Gargano tweeted that in a uh, dream match that we didn't know that we wanted. Uh, <laughs> that probably happened at IWC at some point. Uh, no, not at IWC. Gargano came in well after Cesaro was uh, getting big oh, on the fine. indies. And Cesaro would only come back here and there as Kings of Wrestling. And... Uh, they would mostly wrestle the Founding Fathers, which was some combination of Jimmy Vegas, Bubba the Bulldog, uh, maybe Super sure. Hentai, maybe Justin Idol, and I think and Denny, Dennis Gregory. Okay. Some that of you guys bum. may know some of those names. Nope. That bum. <laughs> that bum. <Dennis. laughs> yes. But anyways, um, other than that, anything from the middle? I, I, I'm glad to see another Finn Balor and Leo Rush match. Just yeah, in general. that was a good match. Uh, I like that. that was a good I, I like I'm glad that. Lash stayed far the fuck away from it. Yeah, I I love the um. I, okay, I was not a fan the week where we kind of be we 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 seemed to be running towards her trash TV, uh, with both hands in the air, uh, with Alexa Bliss and and stuff going on with Naomi in the hotel room. Oh, um, there's, but there's a lot. Of I don't. I don't. Alexa I don't mind me. innuendo, like we almost had tonight. Uh, but no, but that's not innuendo. That's it doesn't fit her character at all. Doesn't it? Like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. What Alexa Bliss is only there to serve Alexa Bliss, right? And she would never even tease doing something like that mm-hmm. because they she wouldn't want all the guys in the like. It wasn't. It was like a month ago where she was embarrassed that someone walked down her changing. Yeah. Like uh, that, that just bothered me. I feel like, like we, need I, stop, we need to stop leaning into this kind of stuff. And I, I, Corey Graves needs to shut the fuck up. Right. No, he does because now it's even creepier. Mm-hmm. Now it's even creepier. Like it was bad before. Now he just needs to shut the fuck up and stop because he's quickly, quickly becoming my least favorite person on commentary. Oh, geez. he's very, qu- he's very quickly becoming that. JBL or no, King? like currently, currently. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I see. Currently, like he, it's almost like 
they should just stop having him talk anytime there's a woman's match out. We got Becky again. Uh, Becky with her um, reverse Kill Bill outfit. Also known as the Ginger Douche, according the to Ronda The Ginger Rousey. Douche. That came out also on the mic. Also known as Astonishing X-Men. Read some fucking comics, guys. She's Dark Phoenix. Oh. Read some fucking books, man. I was watching Umbrella Academy. Does that count? Sure. That counts. Cool. I'll get to it after Dragon Prince. You should, but, you um, should jump ahead and watch that instead. Nope. It's, it'll be short. All right. Plus, so, I got some traveling to do. So, okay. Speaking of Becky, yes. I wrote a better ending for Raw on my Twitter. On your Twitter? Uh-huh. Yeah, it, <laughs> I'm going to find like, this and retweet it. Because I, I was seeing how much time we had left mm-hmm. when they were showing the Ric Flair video package. I'm like, oh, Rick, Rick ain't coming out. Did it involve a he's, not gonna be, he's not even going to be able to walk to the ring before the credits come up, and we already saw him made in Georgia, so we know the show's over. Uh, <laughs> so I thought we were going to come back from the package, and it was going to be exactly like what happened with Becky and Rhonda, only Becky's in the back with the disarmor on Flair, and he's tapping and screaming and tapping out and everything, oh. and she just slams his arm down and says, I'm the man now. Credits. That would have been better. Oh. So, so oh. literally, I had people, I had people, like, like talk to me this weekend and said, so Becky's coming back and ruining the, the Ric Flair thing, right? I mean, that's, that's what we're oh, doing, yeah. right? Like, that's what, she was under the table, right? That's what's happening, right? Like, the whole time. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. what did I say? You said oh, she's under she's the table. she's completely under that table. Oh, she's completely propelling from the ceiling like Sting. She's completely going to ride a St. Patty's Day truck, and I don't know. I, you know. Um, that's racist. That's next month. Is it? That's next month. That's racist. That's What month is it? March. It's February. It's festive. That's what it it's- is. Um, but uh, yeah, it was just like, oh, she got arrested. We're completely. That means she comes back into the Zamboni, right? So, but uh, police car Z- Zamboni full of Guinness. If Zamboni full of Guinness, yes. Uh, I, I don't know. That's not what we got, but we got something interesting. We got something different. We got something that's uh, inevitably going to be Batista versus Triple H. They are pushing. Yeah, but like, it doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. No, it made no sense whatsoever. No, it doesn't make any sense because Triple H is the one that should want the match mm-hmm. because he's never beaten Batista. It shouldn't be the other way around. Right. What do you recall? Because I mean, this is a this is a direct throwback to the Evolution reunion. Well, yeah, but it's also like they're they're the last time they're all in the ring was the, yeah yeah the SmackDown one thousand. Mm-hmm. And Batista said, oh, yeah, I understand everything in this business that beat me. And that's when Triple H got upset, which means Triple H should want the match, mm-hmm. not the other way around. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't but make any sense He's at been all. publicly advocating for this match, uh, like, outside of wrestling Has for, over a year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's won. Yeah, he said, match, that, he but... said that on every wrestling podcast he's been on that the only match he would come back for would be uh, him versus Triple H at WrestleMania. Hmm. Yeah, like, that's which, the only thing he'd ever come back for. I, does and anyone like, really want to see that? Mm. You know I, 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 I don't mind seeing don't. Batista again. I, to be quite honest, I don't mind seeing Batista it's, and seeing them do something with him, especially in this bad Even, guy. He, role. Yeah, in in, the, in this role, or, it's, it's it's a new Batista that we haven't seen. Well, it's a different. He learned how to act since <laughs> it's a Batista since he learned how to act. <laughs> it's Batista crossed with the henchman from the last James Bond movie. It's Blue Tista. No, that's it's not Blue that Tista. nose ring. No, no Blue Tista was great. He's got he's nose ring Batista. He's nose ring Blue Tista, and that makes it amazing. But I still don't want to see the match. If oh I'm no, st- I don't. I don't give a shit about the match itself. I'm. I'm probably Mike, won't. But you have to. Ha- I look forward to the next month and a half of TV with Batista. You have to have oh, an alumni match on WrestleMania. It's almost. It's a rule now. It's in the it's in the handbook. We are gonna get two major spots with Batista between now and WrestleMania that sets up WrestleMania. There has yeah, to be a Yeah, right Triple before H Avengers Infinity War. It's all marketing. <laughs> yeah, that helps too. That does help too. Um actually WrestleMania will be before uh well late that hey, you know, no, WrestleMania is before Infinity War. Yeah. Uh, after Captain Marvel. Yeah, that's right. This is gonna bridge the two together. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how it happens. All right. It's the quantum realm. 
with the COVID realm. Hey, you the, know what? Somebody could snap their finger at WrestleMania and make it all go away. There you go. So there are you go. saying I should bring my Infinity Gauntlet to New Jersey? Yes. yes. And okay. as soon as you see green lights and Motorhead playing, snap your finger <laughs> as hard as you can. Um, I, I believe Matt Carlin's coined it the best. As soon as you see skulls in Latin. Skulls in Latin. <laughs> skulls in Latin. <laughs> All right. On that note, anything else from tonight that sticks out to you you want to talk about? Uh, they're, they're pushing the Stone Cold stuff too hard with Becky Lynch. But it works. No. No, but they're it not. Doesn't. Because if they did, then she would have come out in a fucking Zamboni. That's right. Well, you can't do right. a Zamboni. Swerve. It's Batista you, no, you with a nose ring. You can't do a Zamboni with that ramp. What it's if we try to do another Ric Flair technical. celebration yeah. tomorrow night on SmackDown and that Becky Lynch interrupts that one? Acceptable. Well, they're going to have to, except Flair's going to be in the hospital for the next six months. Yeah, but Charlotte can celebrate her dad and Becky Lynch comes out then. I'm real. Like, hold on, wait a minute. Guys. Guys. Oh. I just realized something. What? Is this the first cake in wrestling history oh, no to not get thrown in someone's face that's got to go in a plexi case at wrestlemania or at uh um all right access. you know what guys that that's an artifact i i have i have homework <laughs> I, I will i will report on this tomorrow there will be an update on that cake tomorrow on the wrestling mayhem show i will not tell you how i find out about this update but have we I ever find, find out who who caked um kevin owens K F. no no, Still no uh, if you have you not watched the fashion files on the network sword what, uh, wait oh there's new ones on the network yes these i have not they, seen they i didn't realize did, they were they out did an, they did an investigation on this wait they have their own show on the network yeah why don't they it, advertise it like, this shit? It was something that they released over the Christmas break. There were like three different um, like 10 to 15 minute shows. One of them is a cooking show, which is delightful. It's hosted by Bo Dallas. What? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You need to find these. You need to find these. One of them is Fashion Files. And the other one is... Uh, Gallows and Anderson doing um, like the Botch Club. No, I've seen I've seen the Botch Show. Yeah, but there, there's shit. a cooking fashion show. Start, there's a cooking show at Bo Dallas, and there is a fashion file show. So these are like each uh, an episode apiece, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I found the Fashion Files Cold Case Unit. It's do, mm -hmm. it's Doer Pie for detectives Tyler Breeze yep. and Fandango. As yep. the fashion That's police it. close in on Kevin Owens' mysterious pie face perpetrator. That's it. You should watch it immediately after we're done here. I think I know what I'm doing while I'm putting this together. All righty then. On that note, Mad Mike, 4883 on the Twitters. Also, YouTube.com slash Poppy. Yes. Larry, <laughs> he's asleep on the couch. No. Just Sorry, I was shaking my head at the pop Poppy comment. This is how we go. Where Where do they find you? Where do they find your music and fun videos? Darkforgestudios.co Darkforgestudios.co Sorgatron on the Twitter, SorgatronMedia.com All the great podcasts out there. Um, shout the Thrifty. I think last last week, they got a new one uh, uh, since. Uh, they had a very uh, old school WCW find uh, with some old figures uh, from a from their thrifting adventures go check out the thrifty podcast uh this week we have um we have uh ronnie starks of of osha inc uh who won the uh his his team won the royal eight tag team tournament um and he he holds a distinction of yelling two girls one cup and not being fired from his promotion so uh we're gonna have him on i think he's bringing the cup last time he served beer out of it this one's a little bigger they've already drank from it 
Uh, and we'll see uh, who else comes along from OSHA Inc. Uh, that has expanded its ranks, of course. So go check that out. That goes live at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook Live page. And, of course, please subscribe if you want to make sure you don't miss any of the wrap-ups or Talking Mayhem Mania or anything else. Go look up the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed on your podcast provider. For Mike and Larry, I'm Sorg. Thank you, chat room. Until next time, wrap it up. I'm riding this. I'm riding this, guys. Also, I forgot the Q and out show, so we're just at- wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, wait for the-